As any cat owner will know, it's not always easy to give a cat a pill. And what I want to do here is to try and give you some tips and tricks that might make that process a little bit easier for you and for your cat. The first thing is to choose a nice, stable and safe place at a convenient height to hold your cat while you give the pill and make sure that you have the pill close at hand as you bring the cat to your spot. Once the cat is settled on the surface, gently restrain him, holding him around the front legs, around the shoulders, with one hand each side of him and his body gently restrained between your forearms, with his bottom pushed against your stomach so that he can't back away from you. And then if there are two of you, you've got him nicely restrained while the person who's going to give the pill holds his head. We'll show you more about actually giving the pill in our next video. If you're on your own giving your cat the pill, you might find it easier to kneel on the floor and to gently wedge the cat between your legs so that again you've got his body nicely restrained and he can't back away from you. You can't restrain his front legs this way, but you will have his body nicely restrained. Here it is again in slow motion. Again, we'll show you more about how to hold his head and how to give the pill in our next video. So for some more wriggly cats, you may need to restrain their front legs. And again, if you're on your own, this can be done by using a large, soft, fluffy towel to snugly wrap around the cat's body, keeping the front legs and the claws restrained in the towel and the body tucked up against your body. Again, that keeps his body restrained while you pop the pill into his mouth. Giving a cat a pill can be a really tricky challenge, so I want to give you some tips and tricks that might make it a bit easier. In our other video, we showed you how to hold the cat in order to have him nicely still and restrained for you. And now we're going to look at actually giving the pill. One of the key things is to have the cat's nose pointing right up at the ceiling so that his mouth tends to open for you to go. In order to do that, you can make use of the natural gap behind the big fang. You can see there's a little gap between the fang and the next tooth. And you can use that to hold the cat's mouth and point him up at the ceiling. Now, taking the pill between your thumb and your first finger, that's going to allow you to push it down into his mouth. Pointing his nose right up at the ceiling, you can then use your middle finger to gently open his mouth. I'm doing it very slowly here, but of course you'll do it faster. Open his mouth and use your first finger to push the tablet right to the back. If you have your finger going down the front of his mouth, even if he closes his mouth, he won't bite you because your finger will be between the fangs. Very important not to put your finger in from the side of his mouth when you might get bitten. This gadget can also be really useful. This is a pill giver. It's got a soft, flexible end in which your tablet or capsule fits. And you can then use that to introduce the pill right to the back of the middle of the cat's tongue and use the plunger to deposit it into the mouth. Here it is in action. We're going to use again our thumb and forefinger to point his nose right at the ceiling and then encourage his mouth open and deposit the pill right at the back. If you get the pill to the middle of the back of the tongue, the swallow reflex will take over and he will swallow it in one movement. After giving a pill, it's a good idea to wash the pill down with a little bit of water. So now we've got just some water in the syringe. We're going to hold the cat's head slightly to one side. We're going to introduce the syringe into that gap behind that big fang and just gently trickle small amounts of water at a time, making sure he has time to swallow each little drop before you give the next one so that he doesn't choke. And as you can see, no cats were harmed while we were making this video. It can be very difficult to give a cat a pill, but with a bit of ingenuity, there's often a way around it. These days, manufacturers often make cat tablets palatable, and if you're offering your cat a palatable tablet, 
Make sure you put it on the tips of your fingers so that it can smell and find the tablet easily. If it's in the middle of your hand, the cat will really struggle to find the tablet. If you need to give your cat more than one tablet at one time, these empty gelatin capsules are really useful to put several pieces of tablet inside and then you only have one thing that you need to dose to the cat. A pill splitter is a useful gadget when you need to give your cat half or a quarter of a tablet. The sharp blade in the roof comes down onto the tablet and cuts it neatly in half but the gadget contains the two halves so that they don't fly in opposite directions. This is also useful if you have a particularly large tablet to give your cat. You can break it into smaller pieces, pack them into a gelatin capsule and that will be an easier size and shape to give your cat. You can also load it into this pill giver. It has a soft flexible end that contains the capsule and you can then use that to introduce the capsule to the back of your cat's mouth and dose the pill to the cat. To make it even more comfortable and smooth you can dip the end of the capsule into butter to lubricate the capsule so that it slides down more easily. If you want to give the tablet mixed with food, many tablets can be crushed safely and using a pill crusher can help with that. You put your pill into the chamber of the crusher, screw down the lid so that it crushes the tablet to a very fine even powder and you can then use that powder to either mix with water to convert it to a liquid or you can mix that powder with food or a strong tasting treat that the cat is likely to enjoy.